Hello everyone, welcome to Patshala. In the last video, we have seen how to load pretend word embeddings for identifying sentiment of given piece of text. Now in this video, we will see how to learn word embeddings from the data on which model will be trained. So TensorFlow has provided embedding layer. So that embedding layer will be the first layer in our model. Job of this embedding layer is to learn the embeddings from the training data itself. So let's see how to learn embedding on the training data. For the sake of simplicity, we are going to start with the same example that we have used in the previous video. In first cell, we are going to import some of the libraries and classes we need for performing the different tasks. From google.colab, we are going to import drive. Then we are importing TensorFlow as TF and we are including tokenizer class from tensorflow.keras.preprocessing.text module. In the second cell, we have deliberately taken a small data set where we are considering only two statements. First statement is, I am very happy today. This is positive. And second statement is, no, I do not like the movie. That is negative. So corresponding actual outputs are 1 and 0 correspond to positive and negative. Then we have used tokenizer class. We have little bit configured this class with num underscore words is equal to 20. Means we are going to take 20 frequently used words from corpus. X is treated as a corpus. So on tokenizer object, we are applying fit on text method. So this method will take X as an input and correspondingly, we are going to build a vocabulary for the input text. Then we have used text to sequence method. This particular method converts the input text into series of uh, numbers according to the vocabulary. The vocabulary that is word to index dictionary where word is treated as a key and number is treated as a value. According to that number or the index sequence will be generated. So let's see what dictionary we have formed from the input text. Tokenizer dot word underscore index. So this particular property help us to learn what is the vocabulary available with the input text. We have printed that. So correspondingly, we are getting total 11 unique words which are used frequently. We have also printed the sequence that we have received from text to sequence method. So sequences 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So first sequence corresponds to first sentence in the X. So these numbers are generated from this vocabulary. So first corresponds to I. Second corresponds to M. Third corresponds to very. Fourth corresponds to happy. And fifth corresponds to today. Likewise, we have also got the sequence or encoded version of the second text where we have 6, 1, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12 correspond to the no, I do not like the movie correspondingly. Next step is we have to identify the max length from the input text. So we are traveling each review present in the input text. Then for each review, we are taking what is the length. If the length is greater than the max length, then we are updating the max length. At the end, we have printed the max length. Max length is 7. Now, some of the reviews are lesser than 
d7 so we have to pad those reviews in order to make sure that all the inputs are of same size so pad sequence method is there under tensorflow.keras.preprocessing.sequence module then we are importing numpy as a np and in pad sequence we are going to pass sequences and the max length sequences is input x which are converted into the sequence of numbers and max length is equal to max length that is 7 then we have taken y as an array and we have printed the shapes along with the data after padding so we can see that 0 0 is padded in at the initial positions of the first review to make sure that length of first review is 7 at the second if we print the shape of the data we are getting 2 comma 7 now let's define our model for that we have imported all the models and layers available under tensorflow with the help of tensorflow.keras.models and tensorflow.keras.layers now total words must be equal to the vocabulary size plus one one word is extra we have to add in the vocabulary that is reserve words so we have used length of the word index plus one to represent total words now after building and embedding for the word what should be the size of that embedding that we have to specify as embedding underscore dim variable here we are specifying five now let's define our model model is equal to sequential the first layer in the model is embedding layer now job of the embedding layer is to learn the embedding from the input text while training. This embedding layer takes encoded text format as an input and accordingly it will learn the embedding. Now while working on it, it will take some of the parameters like total words. Now here total words will be 12 because vocabulary size is 11 we have to add one extra word over there so total words are equal to 12 embedding dimensions are 5 so each word will be represented by a vector which will have 5 values means 5 dimensions input length is equal to max length this is as usual so since this is the first layer in the model we have to specify what is the maximum size that we are going to take as an input for the sake of simplicity we have provided name as an embedding layer to the first layer after that the second layer is simple rnn where we have taken 128 units activation function as relu and name of this layer is rnn1 now output of this layer will be taken as an input by the next simple rnn so we have to use return sequence is equal to true we have to use return sequences is equal to true for each and every layer in the model if we are using simple rnn except the last in the next simple rnn layer we have taken 256 neuron with activation function as a relu and name is equal to rnn2 after that we have added the last layer where we have included only one neuron and activation function is sigma finally we have printed our models summary with the help of model dot summary so we can see that layers name are appearing over here along with uh, type of the layer means which layer is this then what is the output shape and number of the parameter it has to learn 
so total these many parameters are there and all these parameters are trainable now coming to the compilation and execution of uh, this model on training data we have used model dot compile loss is equal to binary cross entropy and optimizer is equal to stochastic gradient descent with learning rate is equal to 0 0.01 and learning rate decay is 1 into 10 raised to minus 6 matrix is equal to accuracy so this is how our model will be trained now actual training actual training is done with the help of fit method where we are passing the actual data then we are passing the actual output epoch is equal to 10 means we are going to use that whole data set 10 times in each epoch and verbose is equal to 1 ultimately we are getting the accuracy as 1 with loss 0 0.68 okay so in this video we have seen embedding layer is basically used to learn the word embeddings from the input text key factors are embedding layer text encoded text and second one we have to pass the embedding dimension so let's check out the embeddings learn by our embedding layer embedding is equal to model dot get weights this particular method returns weights of all the layers embedding layers rnn1 rnn2 and dense layer now this is actually the list from this list we are interested in the zeroth layer zeroth layer corresponds to the embedding layer so we have printed the shape embedding zero dot shape so output is 12 comma 5 12 is nothing but size of the vocabulary plus 1 5 is the embedding size that we have provided so 12 different words are represented by a vector of size 5 so ultimately embedding layer weights are 2d data with shape 12 comma 5 so there are 12 rows corresponds to each word from the vocabulary and every rows size is 5 5 means 5 dimensions we are considering while building the embedding for these words okay i hope you are getting this thank you for watching the video